What's up? how it's gonna be? Get ready! Cover my Fuck ass! Keep uh, picking us off! Fire! Fire now! Fire bomb on his ass! Oh.
Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. That's that then. You're gonna get flagged! Uh, uh, Gotta blast the black off him! Dead asshole, 12 o'clock. Got your attention now? for such a little fucker. They're still our boss, and we still got a job to do. Let me know if you see anything. Don't take my... Damn that ice! Got no one to go! Uh, 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 don't 
Knees up on Boom, me. boom! All right. Yeah, come! Ah. 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 Shit! Shit! I'm here! Ah. Those big balls now, Junior. If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Yeah, okay. But if you asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was setting out on in the here and now. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. And just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. Hey, Mr. Clay, look over there. One of those cars has one of them fancy A-track tape players in it. just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I'd take care of you and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs>
not interested. Huh? Huh? Wasn't it, man? Stirring shit up's only bringing more heat down on us. Buckley just don't have enough spleen for my taste. Huh? Huh? I challenge this wag to a race for pink slips, but the asshole turns po- That's his call? Yeah. Are you serious?
This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Orazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel is crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. Took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. Really? Shrimp. What you call me? I have Shrimp. a subscription. Wear continental clothes <laughs> or Stetson what are you hats. Doing, huh? 